So I'm in the bathtub reading and researching because that's my second favorite thing to do in the tub. And uh, come across this. Check it out. From congress.gov, House Resolution 1154. Condemning QAnon and rejecting the conspiracy theories it promotes. Whereas throughout history, conspiracy theories that falsely blame secret cabals or marginalized groups for society's ills have fueled prejudice, genocide, and acts of terrorism. Whereas QAnon is a movement promoting a collection of unfounded conspiracy theories that have spread widely on the internet since 2017. Whereas QAnon initially alleged that prominent Americans are engaged in a secret plot to control the world while using their own power to exploit children and has expanded to embrace virtually every popular conspiracy theory of the last several decades from questioning the truth about September 11th terrorist attacks to believing in alien landings to denying the safety of vaccines. Whereas QAnon followers express anti-Semitic views and the Anti-Defamation League has said the movement's central conspiracy theory includes anti-Semitic elements. Whereas conspiracy theories have been a central driver of anti-Semitism for centuries and QAnon conspiracy theories are fanning the flames as anti-Semitism is on the rise in the United States and around the world. Whereas the Federal Bureau of Investigation has assessed with high confidence that fringe political conspiracy theories, including QAnon, very likely motivate some domestic extremists wholly or in part to engage in criminal or violent activity, and that these conspiracy theories very likely encourage the targeting of specific people, places, and organizations, thereby increasing the likelihood of violence against these targets. Whereas the FBI bases this assessment on events in which individuals committed crimes, plotted attacks, or successfully carried out deadly violence, and who either before or after their arrest attributed their actions to their conspiratorial beliefs. Conspiratorial beliefs. Whereas QAnon adherents have been implicated in crimes they claim their QAnon beliefs inspired. 1. A man arrested in 2018 for plotting to plant a bomb in the Illinois Capitol Rotunda to make Americans aware of the Pizzagate conspiracy theory. 2. A man arrested in 2018 for using an armored car to block traffic on the Hoover Dam bypass bridge. 3. A man arrested in Arizona in 2019 for vandalizing a Catholic church. 4. A woman in Colorado arrested in 2019 for plotting an armed raid to kidnap her child who had been taken from her custody. 5. A man charged with the murder of an organized crime boss in New York in 2019. And 6. A woman arrested in New York with a car full of knives after posting a video accusing Joe Biden of participating in child sex trafficking and threatening to kill him. Whereas the FBI further assesses that these conspiracy theories very likely will emerge, spread, and evolve in the modern information marketplace, fostering anti-government sentiment, racial, and religious prejudice, and whereas according to the Combating Terrorist Center at the United States Military Academy at West Point, QAnon is arguably no longer simply a fringe conspiracy theory, but an ideology that has demonstrated its capacity to radicalize to violence, to violence individuals at an alarming speed. Whereas Facebook, Twitter, and Google have removed or blocked QAnon groups and their content from their platforms for violating their policies against misinformation bullying, hate speech, and harassment, whereas QAnon adherents have been harming legitimate efforts to combat child exploitation and sex trafficking, including by overwhelming anti-trafficking hotlines with false reports, whereas the conspiracy theories promoted by QAnon undermine trust in America's democratic institution, encourage rejection of objective reality, and deepen our nation's political polarization, and whereas our nation's polarization is further accentuated by others from far left to far right, promoting extreme ideologies and anti-government conspiracy theories, hijacking legitimate peaceful protests, 
and encouraging followers to damage, deface, or vandalize local, state, and federal government properties and attack law enforcement. Now, therefore, be resolved that the House of Representatives, number one, condemns QAnon and rejects the conspiracy theories it promotes. Two, condemns all other groups and ideologies from the far left to the far right that contribute to the spread of unfounded conspiracy theories and that encourage Americans to destroy public and private property and attack law enforcement officers. Attack law enforcement officers. Three, encourages the Federal Bureau of Investigation as well as all federal law enforcement and homeland security agencies to continue to strengthen their focus on preventing violence, threats, harassment, and other criminal activity by extremists motivated by fringe political conspiracy theories. Four, encourages the intelligence community to uncover any foreign support, assistance, or online amplification of QAnon receives as well as any QAnon affiliations, coordinations, and contacts with foreign extremists, organizations, groups espousing violence, and urges all Americans, regardless of our beliefs or partisan affiliation, to seek information from authoritative sources and to engage in political debate from a common factual foundation. Like CNN. <sighs> That was good, man. That was good. That was a good one. I think I might go over some highlights. I don't really know for sure. I don't want to make this video too long. So watch it again. Pick your own favorite parts and let me know what they are.